What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So today we have an auction at Copart. Tomorrow we have an auction at IAA. But instead of looking for something to repair and flip, I'm actually more interested in finding a vehicle to pull this trailer than I was supposed to get yesterday, but uh, ended up being held over till today. And I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. I'm supposed to pick up a new 2018, uh, 18 foot by, I don't remember how many feet wide it is. It's a very good size trailer, dovetail, uh, wood deck, but the dove has, uh, what is that? Um, diamond plated steel. It is a beautiful trailer. Um, I'm hoping in the future we'll add a couple accessories like a, uh, a winch. Um, those always come in handy. Um, the Jeep is great, but I don't think the Jeep long term is going to be is going to be safe to pull a big trailer with a, a car or a truck on the back of it. Now, the Jeep is rated at pulling 5,000 pounds, so it's more than capable. The problem is, is the short wheelbase. You know, you've got a very short vehicle that's pulling a very long trailer, and that can make things a little unsteady, especially on the interstate. So, what I'm most interested in today, um, I'll show you. There is a 2009 Ford Taurus right here. Uh, this I'm interested in as a flip vehicle. Uh, it, the mileage is ridiculous, 250,000 miles. But if it goes cheap enough, you know, maybe it would be worth it. It is a pure sale. Current bid is at 225. Um, rear end damage looks to be minimal. Interior, uh, typical with a Copart car, is pretty filthy. So I think this would make a great little flip car. You know, throw a bumper on it and a couple taillights, and who knows, you know, maybe the taillights will be in there. I don't know. But I'm interested in that, and we are actually going to head down to Copart here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for another video. We're going to do a Copart walkthrough video today, and if I win something, or maybe not, we'll probably do an auction video today as well. This is an 06 Econoline van. I know a lot of people are probably like, what the hell would you want a van for? Believe it or not, these things are big. They're heavy. I like heavy because that means more stability when you're pulling a tra trailer and a car behind you. Um, they're pretty reliable. You can tell that this was a commercial vehicle, which means it was probably maintained by a fleet service. Um, so with 263,000 miles on it, it's either going to be in really good shape or it's going to be in really bad shape, but we're not going to know till we get there and look at it. I don't care about the body. I don't care about the interior. Um, I like that it's basically a truck that's covered up. This means I can put car parts and stuff in the back. I don't have to worry about tearing the thing up because we don't care about it, but it's great to keep things out of uh, the rain. You know, it's also a great extra storage space <laughs> when, uh, when you're not using it. So we'll go take a look at it. Um, there's the damage. It's It's got pretty significant damage down there in the rocker panel, but I don't really care all that much. Those doors probably do not open anymore, but we'll go out there and check it out. Um, I'm somewhat interested in that, only because it's probably going to go really cheap. Next on my list is one that I may not be too interested in. Um, again, depends on the price. It's already at 1050 We have significant frame damage here. Um, let's see if you guys can see this. The frame is, I mean, twisted. You can see it is just bent. Both frame rails are bent hard towards the passenger side. Um, now, the frame rails hold on the bumper. Those can be straightened. In fact, they could probably be straightened very easily, and this truck could be put back together. The truck overall looks really nice. It concerns me, however, that it only has 130,000 miles, biohazard, and the fact that it is an enhanced vehicle. This is not a run and drive. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So that one is one that I really need to go look at in person, find out, you know, try to get an idea of what the biohazard deal is because there's no airbag deployment. Um, so maybe there's a chemical spill. I, I don't know. I don't see anything in the pictures, but usually you will not see anything in the pictures. You have to go look at these in person. So we're going to go look at this and check it out. I am interested in that truck. Um, let's see what we got next. This one is probably the one I am most interested in because it looks like it has been taken pretty good care of. Um, you can see the tires. Let me HD this real quick. The tires have thick tread, at least the front ones do. Those are really good tires. Um, back tires, can't tell. Uh, they look like they still have good tread on them too, but I think they're a different brand. This is an 06 Tahoe C1500, which means it's a two-wheel drive. The Ks mean they're four-wheel drive. This is a run and drive. This is a pure sale. Current bid is at $1,350. So, you know, I know that a lot of people probably think that I'm a cheapskate, and I really am. Um, I want, and I'm willing to wait, um, the best bang for the buck I can get. 
So I'm not just going to jump on anything when it comes to something I plan on using for personal use. I need to go check this out. Interior so far looks great. Body looks great. The gauges show good voltage, great oil pressure. So that looks good. I do see an airbag light on over here in the corner. Um, so we'll need to take a look at that as well. You see the damage is to the back bumper. Um, we'll need to definitely look at that, make sure there's nothing more underneath that's going to be problematic. But overall, this looks like a great vehicle. But you know it's all going to depend on how much this thing goes for as is the case with every auction now here's another one this one i've been watching too it's not been bit up very much it also looks like a well-maintained vehicle an 01 gmc yukon um, the front end the this damage i know it looks bad but believe me that damage is nothing you know that's nothing the problem is when they make these trucks or suvs anymore they're all freaking plastic all right, so when they get in even a slight accident, it looks horrific. When in reality, the metal pieces underneath are probably just fine. It just needs new plastics. But as you can see, this thing looks to be in even better condition than the one we were just looking at. The tires look like they all match. The body's in excellent shape. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it is the leather. I really don't like leather interior because it fades, it cracks, it dries out. And when you're talking about a vehicle this old, the damage is already done. Um, so this is something we're going to go check out as well. I definitely want to get a closer look at it because this looks like one that might be worth picking up. Aside from this, let's see if there's anything else I'm interested in over here. There is not. So we'll jump over to IAA because that auction is tomorrow. Um, right here we have an 05 Dodge Ram 1500. I really do like this one. I don't know what's going on with that front bumper. I can't tell if that's all cracked or if that's a clear bar bra that cracked. I don't know. But this one right here is a 4.7 V8. This is a two-wheel drive, 135,000 miles run and drive. Um, let's go through some of the pictures real quick. This one kind of concerns me because it's so clean. Um, I, <laughs> you don't really... That's the thing with IAA. They don't really specify what's going on with these. Um, sometimes they'll tell you, like right here, this is a remarketing division, so this could have been a repossession or something, or it could have been someone that's just trying to unload a car that's falling apart. You just don't know. Um, and unlike Copart, you can't go there any day of the week and check them out. You can only come on Tuesday to look at their cars. Um, so that makes it a little more difficult. Here we have an 02 Ram 1500. This one, I think, is really clean. You could buy this now for 2900 but, you know... I don't really want to spend that, and I know the truck, assuming it runs and drives and, and the in you know everything's in good shape, absolutely uh, worth twenty nine hundred in my opinion for a good running quad cab truck. Interior looks great. The body's a little dinged and scratched. I like I said, I don't care too much about the body. I don't want something that's going to look absolutely ridiculous driving down the road, you know. But I'm not overly concerned with the body. Good looking truck, and. This says hail damage, 200,000 miles, runs and drives, uh, four-wheel drive. Okay, I did not know that. So this is a 4x4. Four four. Not really overly concerned about 4x4 four four either. Um, I, this was kind of funny. Um, an 88 F-150. Now, some of you are probably going to laugh at this, but you know what? If the damn thing runs and drives, I'd roll it. I don't care. I just need something big and heavy to pull a trailer. Um, it's really, considering this is a 1988 it doesn't look too bad. Um, the only downside, in my opinion, is that it's a stick shift. I really prefer an automatic, but you know, I'm not certain that I would trust a 1988 F-150 uh, to go very far with a car and a trailer. Um, 5.0 V8, which was typical of that era, you know, just not a not something I'm overly interested in. But for $500, it is definitely cheap. Here we have an 08 G5. This would be another interesting flip car. Um, and if you look here again, it's a remarketing division. So hard to say what's going on there. But this is a pretty clean G5. Um, it only has 104,000 miles on it. We've got a side skirt that's either damaged or coming apart there. I'm sure that's fixable. The body looks really good. The interior looks really good. This is a very clean car. Um, definitely something I would be interested in depending on what the price goes for. And, you know, they always show these actual cash values. And for any of you noobs out there, don't even pay attention to that. Actual cash value means nothing. Um, I could take this car cleaned up even with a salvage title. And this one has a clear title. I can easily sell that for 3000 You know, 2500 to 3000 all day long. So you can't really pay attention to stuff like that. 
I don't even know why they put it there. Uh, we got an 04 Volvo. Something tells me there's more to this story than what we're seeing. Uh, it says collision front and rear. It doesn't say who's selling it. It's got a clear title, so it's not salvaged. So this one really makes you wonder, like, you know, what's going on here? It's a convertible. It's a Volvo. It's a nice car. Damage is minimal. 210,000 miles. Uh, this one runs and drives. Keys present. You know, something like this scares me because it just looks too good. It doesn't have a salvage title, and it's sitting at an auction. So, you know, if it runs great and it's listed as a run and drive, perhaps the transmission's bad. Maybe it's got first and second gear and that's it. I don't know. The price is buy it now 925 which at an auction like this, that's that's probably something to just stay away from. I, I probably wouldn't risk it. So that's what we're looking at today. It's already after 9.30 in the morning. I need to get going because i got to get to this auction, check these cars out. The auction starts at noon. I've got to go to Lowe's and complain about the lawnmower that I bought. I'm guessing they sold me something that's been sitting in the rain forever, and that's kind of BS. The battery's not charged. It won't hold a charge. There's rust on the axles, rust on the blades. When I opened the engine cover and was looking down inside the uh, the engine itself, you can see rust, I mean, decent thick rust all over the internals of the engine. I mean, not the internals, but underneath that initial cover, you can see just rust inside the different parts of the engine, which I don't know what they are because I don't build lawnmowers. But, you know, I'm sure things rust over time, but the battery says 2016 on it. That tells me this is a much older model. It's got some decent scrapes on it uh, in the paint and a couple what looks like hail dents so i think they they unloaded some old model onto me and sold it to me as like new because it had never been purchased before and that's not going to fly so i got to go take care of that i'm supposed to go pick up that trailer today i'm hoping to buy something from the auction that's going to be more reliable to pull a trailer with we have got a day ahead of us i got a parent teacher conference i've got a business conference later <laughs> it's Today's a busy day. I'm going to do my best to pump out some videos for you. I'm going to try to do a video of the auction itself, um, walking through Copart, checking out cars. So stay tuned for all that. I appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment below, and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you later.